The Republican National Convention kicks off in Milwaukee today. And security is, of course, a major concern. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza joins us live from Milwaukee with more on what we can expect. And Sabrina, what's the scene like right now? Just to give you an idea, we're standing in the Pfizer Forum. That is the main location for all of the top speakers throughout the duration of this week. We're expecting the former president and presumptive nominee to speak on Thursday with a speech that he says he has reconfigured after the shooting happened over the past 48 hours to reflect those events. We're also expecting his vice presidential pick that we still do not know to speak presumably on Wednesday. The stage behind us is where all of that will be going on. And around us is a hard security perimeter around this building and then two others will be meetings and other events throughout the week. Beyond that is a even softer security perimeter, which is part of the Secret Service plan that they put together over the last 18 months, a plan that they said was so strong it did not need to change even after this shooting. And nearly 100 delegates from New York will be among those in attendance at the convention. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from Midtown with reaction from some of those delegates. Christina. Well, Cindy and Natalie, good morning. As we know, the Republican National Convention is expected to draw about 50,000 people to the city of Milwaukee, and among those will be 90 delegates from New York State. Many of them told us that they are hopeful that this moment will not only unify the party, but also Americans from across the political spectrum. We spoke with one of those, one of those delegates, Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman, yesterday. He said he was with the former president at a rally in the South Bronx just a few weeks ago. Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis is also in Wisconsin this morning, where she says there have been briefings on additional security measures now in place. I will be with him at the convention, and uh, I think it's going to be a very, very different type of convention. I do believe that this was a lone wolf, isolated incident. They are uh, taking extra precautions uh, to keep everyone safe. And before making his way to Milwaukee in a private plane Sunday evening from Newark Airport, the former president was at Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey, where many supporters were seen outside waving flags. On Sunday, Mayor Adams and other local officials also stood together shoulder to shoulder despite their political differences, saying that bullets do not settle any differences that the two parties do have. We will have much more local reaction coming up in our next half hour. Reporting live from Trump Tower, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.